A brown dwarf is something between a star and a planet. Up at the night sky, planets and stars look the same, but when observed closely, they are very different from each other. Stars shine by producing their own light through nuclear reactions, using the energy stored in the tiny nucleus at the center of atoms. But planets don't have enough mass to produce energy by nuclear fusion, so they shine by reflecting the light of their parent star. By understanding what makes some objects shine by themselves and others reflect the light of some other body, will allow us to understand brown dwarfs as well. Brown dwarfs are like failed stars resembling planets. They are too massive to be planets, but not massive enough for hydrogen atoms to fuse in their cores and become stars. Objects smaller than 10 Jupiter masses are planets. Larger than 90 Jupiter masses are stars. Meanwhile, brown dwarfs are just in between, sharing properties similar to both. These objects form just like stars, but their small amount of energy comes from the heart stored in them during the collapse of the parent gas cloud from which they formed. So, unlike stars, brown dwarfs gradually cool and fade as they age emitting infrared light. Because of their low temperatures and small sizes, they are very difficult to observe. The best way to find them is by using infrared telescopes, which can detect the heat from these objects even though they are too cool to radiate visible light. Brown dwarfs were only a theoretical concept until they were first discovered in 1995. Astronomers now think there might be as many brown dwarfs as there are stars. Understanding the formation of brown dwarfs is essential to understanding that of planets and stars. When NASA launches the James Webb Space Telescope, we will be able to learn way more about these exotic worlds.